Hello everyone, this is Tom from Big with the Guitars from Utrecht, the Netherlands. And today we are taking a look at this yet unreleased Epiphone SG Custom 1963 Joe Bonamassa signature electric guitar. Like I said, not yet released. Today is Friday and it is planned to be released coming Tuesday next week. So uh, by the time that you're seeing this, it has been released and it is available. Hopefully still available at our store if you are really interested. But my gut tells me that this will not be here for very long because we already have someone that is interested. But this guitar is just too cool not to share. So I'm just going to film this and uh, put it out there on the channel for you to enjoy even if um, it is not available anymore. So Joe Bonamassa, you've probably heard his name before. He is the ultimate guitar geek and ultimate guitar collector. He has literally hundreds of guitars in uh, his multiple homes in the US and he has worked with the folks at Gibson and at Epiphone a bunch. Uh, he has released a bunch of models in the past and this one is next up in line. The uh, 1963 SG Custom in this dark Ryan red finish. Um, and also by the way I mean Joe is also just a phenomenal player. He's like the ultimate blues rock guy and um, yeah it's just amazing and um, he definitely knows how to uh, make and produce a cool guitar um, which he has proven in the past and he has he has proven yet once more with this model so let's get into the specs of this SG custom features a mahogany body in this uh, really beautiful uh, dark wine red finish we got three humbucker pickups these are pro bucket two in the neck and in the middle and then the pro bucket three in the bridge made by epiphone um all gold this being an sg custom all of the hardware is gold as well as the epiphone branded vibrola tremolo system all in gold um the bridge also all in gold this is uh by the way a um a lock tone tunomatic bridge with nylon saddles so um yeah definitely um a very unique and cool spec something that they did with gibson uh, back in the day in the uh like um mid 1960s um they uh, did a lot of uh, nylon saddles on their models so yeah the fibrola tailpiece um with the uh harp engraved and epiphone branding engraved with the um famous walrus walrus tooth uh, trim arm and how it works it is pretty simple you just push downwards and then this piece of the um, of uh, the trim bends along with the arm and then you get um, the trim and uh, it does what a trim is supposed to do reducing the tension on the strings we got a multiply white pickguard um, we got a the neck tenon cover reads custom, as you would also see back in the day on the original models. And we get a three-way pickup selector switch um, made by Switchcraft, and then um, two volumes and two tones. And um, the pots are true CTS pots, and then the capacitors are made by Mallory. So all just really premium. Also the type of stuff that you see in guitars made in US by Gibson, for example. Um, we got a mahogany neck with a Slim Taper C profile, which by the way is a one piece mahogany neck. So we don't have a neck scarf. Um, it's just one piece of mahogany from uh, top to bottom. The fingerboard made out of ebony, true ebony, and the inlays are also part particularly cool because these are true mother of pearl block inlays which Epiphone has not yet done in the past with block inlays so definitely a first and a really cool and premium specs which I am highly impressed by they have yeah like I just mentioned they had not yet yet done that in the past on uh, previous models with block inlays so this is a first hope to see it more uh, on more models because it just looks so much better. It like just completes the whole picture. Um, looks just so much better than plastic acrylic inlays. 
Craftech nut, also a premium spec, um, which then gives you more sustain and uh, a better tuning stability. We got a custom headstock with the diamond inlay done in Mother of Pearl, as well as the logo, Epiphone logo, also done in Mother of Pearl and the binding on the headstock. And the clear coat over the headstock is also kind of yellowed, it kind of has a yellow tint, kind of giving you these, this faux age look, which just looks really great in my opinion. Um, just a blank truss rod cover. And we also get golden waffle back clues and tuners, which is also just, you barely see on models by Epiphone. So also a highly unique and highly premium spec. And another last thing, this also comes with a hard shell case. Also again, highly premium spec for a guitar in its price range by Epiphone with uh, paperwork with a certificate of authenticity. Um, so yeah, making the whole picture complete, um, what more do you really need with a uh, guitar um, of this price range? I mean, if this were to be built in the US, you would be paying like four or five times more than uh, what this will be priced at. So grab yours uh, if you are interested and if they are still available, either at us, preferably, but if this one is not or is not here anymore by the time that you are watching this because we only get one. Um, keep your eye out for one of these because yeah, again, super duper cool model um, with awesome specs. So if you are interested in this particular guitar and if it is still available, be sure to head over to the links in the description. One of them will take you to the listing of this guitar on our website, as well as a link that will take you to the listing of this guitar on our reverb shop and um, if you enjoyed this demo, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more cool uh, weekly demos of cool electrics like this, cool um, bass guitars, acoustic guitars, amplifiers, even all of that cool stuff. Also be sure to like us and follow us on our socials on Instagram and Facebook. Links are also in the description. And um, yeah, let's get to the playing demo. We are going to be running this through the 1966 Fender Super Reverb. First, I'm going to give you the clean tones of the combinations, and then I will be giving you some dirty tones using the Riverside Multistage Drive by uh, Strymon. So let's get to that part and uh, take this 1963 Epiphone SG Custom Joe Bonamassa electric guitar for a spin.
Thank you.